Now, last topic for tonight before we open the questions, and I this is a dear one to me, and I wanted to add it in here for all of our priests and anyone else who's going to be somehow involved in the baptism. How do we baptize babies? It's come down to this nowadays. We need to focus on this and teach this because unfortunately many are not doing it in the orthodox manner. What does a baptism entail? It means immersion. Body of the infant, child, or adult, or whatever it is, is immersed fully. Three times in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, each time. By an Orthodox priest, and not sprinkled or water poured over the head. That's not how it's done in the patristic Orthodox way, right? Clement of Alexandria says famously, and he says much more, this is a very small quote, when we are baptized perfectly, we are illumined, illumined, we, are, we will be adopted, adopted, we will finish, and finished, we are immortal. Anyway, there's much more to the quote, I probably should give you the whole quote, but the point here is that it matters, it matters that we keep the proper baptism. Now that's, that's how you do a child, how, how about an adult? These are some of the pictures of how adults should be properly baptized. Down in the right-hand corner, you see the great missionary to Zaire, Cosmas of Gregorio, baptizing everyone there, and he baptized a lot of people. We're talking about almost, I think it was something like 9,000. It was thousands of people in his, and it was a short stay, 10, 12 years, 15 years he was there. He's baptizing them in the river, as is commanded uh, by the strict observation of the church, if possible. But also here from Africa, you see this, what they build in Africa. In Africa, the missionaries build proper baptismal fonts. In North America, in Australia, in Canada, in the UK, why can't we build and have proper baptismal fonts? Why is that not a priority in our parishes? Why can they do it in Africa, but we can't get it together? And there are many pictures of African being baptized in such a font in the form of a cross. One simply needs to search online and they'll find several. And there's many more in the Greek language. I've seen them myself in the various journals. And that's how you baptize properly. Here is Father Eustine from Utah here on the left, baptizing in the middle of this parish there. He's got a huge horse trough and that woman is going to be totally immersed. So you might say, well, Father, don't be legalistic. No, 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 no. You, you, if you, if if I said to you, well, let's do divine liturgy with some grape juice and crackers, and you said, no, 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 Father, that's not right. Would I, could I call you a legalist for insisting not to do that? No, I don't think so. You would say that's just the way it should be done. That's how the Lord wants it, and we should be faithful. Here's how not to baptize. Here's two examples of how not to baptize, and unfortunately, this is more and more common around the Orthodox world. We're baptizing like papal Protestants. We're abusing, distorting the mystery. And there are people who say it doesn't matter. It does matter. And God help you and all of us to observe patristic teaching.